I'm here with Robin. She's in the process of becoming the owner of Hickory Nut Darn it. Hickory Nut Falls Family Campground. Okay. I'm here with Robin. She's currently in the process of becoming the owner of Hickory Nut Falls Family Campground. And we're going to talk with her a bit about this awesome place up in Chimney Rock, North Carolina. If I had a thousand tongues, I would sing with everyone. Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Never understood But life can I would launch a thousand ships Just to be about your lips Tell them all to sail away I'm here with Robin. She's currently in the process of becoming the owner of Hickory Nut Falls Family Campground. And we're going to talk with her a bit about this awesome place. Grandfather started this. Yes, Can my you tell us about that? started it in 1970. They built the bridge and then just started um, putting in campsites and then expanding when they could. Every summer I would come up for the summer. Over the last few years when we really saw that there was a realistic option that they were going to sell it, we thought uh, we're definitely going to do this. What are some things uh, that you're hoping to see happen at the campground? We are seeing a lot more people um, coming in the area for rock climbing. The property borders the state park. We would like to extend and have a lot more primitive area for um, for people who really just camp in hammocks and just, you know, low-key campers that don't need much. But we also like, we're going to expand to have um, to better power so we can have more like new campers that have two air conditions and everyone's buying, you know, 35 foot campers and you need 50 amps. So we're upgrading all the power to accommodate for all of the newer campers as well. When you were growing up, what was it? What was it like around here? Like just being a kid in this environment? It was awesome. I have to say though, when I was a kid, there was more older people camping, grandparents camping with their grandkids, and um, we had a lot of seasonal sites, a lot of repeat campers, a lot of people that would. Um, this was just their vacation. This is what they always did. It what there wasn't a whole lot of young families camping all the time and I love seeing that change throughout the years, especially this year, new to camping. Um, but it, it was great. So we're in... Did you know we always start with so? You can edit it out all you so, want. Oh, I do. We are in Chimney Rock, North Carolina for Thanksgiving this year and we have some friends who live near us uh, who have traveled up to this area as well and they're on their way here. This is actually our first time we've ever had anybody come visit us at our RV and hang out for any period of time. I'm kind of excited. I am too. I'm very excited. I smell Thanksgiving coming from the RV. Isn't that awesome? Do you smell it? Do you smell it? Too bad this isn't a scratch and sniff it Smells video. good. Scratch your screen. Can I play with the No. So should I say something like, you're doing a really good job getting that table? If you want to, I get to edit so you can do whatever you want to do. Found a what?
kids were out walking and they came back and said, there are all these turkeys. Now, I can't be sure these are turkeys, but <laughs> for it to be Thanksgiving, this is definitely a group of large birds. Check it out. Hey guys, what's your name? What? I got cranberry sauce on my hand. I need a napkin. I'll get it from the napkin oh, holder. That's lovely. So you can take the napkins out and use the napkins. <laughs> Carrie got me all excited because she showed me the um, plates for today. This is not a regular size plate. This is like the size of my head. And it says give thanks. It's our Thanksgiving plate. I am thankful for these plates. However, comma, I was, I was not thankful when Carrie showed me the dessert plate. Who does dessert that small? That's, it's offensive is what it is. Let's show what Scott actually had for dessert. One of each place. So who made the most of dessert? First place. <laughs> We're kind of winding down. People are about to leave. But here's how you know it's been a good day and it's, it's just about over. The napkin holder is empty and that's the official end of Thanksgiving.